The next president will be the fifth in a row with troops fighting in Iraq. Tonight, Iraqi forces are encircling the city of Fallujah, which was seized by ISIS two years ago. In an unusual alliance, to say the least, both the U.S. and Iran are helping. Charlie Daggett is in Iraq. Today, families escaped any way they could. Crossing the Euphrates River outweighed the risks of being trapped inside Fallujah as Iraqi forces slowly encircle the city and the ISIS militants that still control it. The assault is being spearheaded by U.S.-trained Iraqi special forces. There are also Iranian-backed Shiite militias, even local Sunni tribal fighters taking part, all backed up by airstrikes from the U.S. and its allies. Yet any hope of a swift victory has been shattered by ISIS's fierce defense. Iraqi military officials told us troops have run into unexpectedly heavy resistance. Mortars, snipers, and countless roadside bombs have stalled the advance on the southern outskirts of the city. ISIS fighters have had an iron grip on Fallujah since capturing it two years ago. Now, as Iraqi forces edge toward the city itself, Iraqi commanders told us the estimated 50,000 civilians makes it much harder to call airstrikes in. And the battle will likely go street by street and house by house. The commander of Iraqi special forces told us that ISIS is already using civilians as human shields, Scott. He said fighters have moved on from the government buildings they've been occupying to family homes, where snipers have taken up positions with residents still inside. Charlie Dangada covering the fight for Iraq tonight. Charlie, thank you.